In this video, I'm going to show a cool tip on how to create skippable facts and theories in XUnit. So this was something I was searching because in our CI pipelines, a lot of times we have tests fail for environmental issues, but the tests are usually good on developer machines. So we don't want to totally throw away the tests, but we also don't want them blowing up inside of Jenkins and like a Linux machine. So what we want to really do is we want some way to tell the test to run for developer machines, but not on these CI machines. So I went out to Stack Overflow and I found this dynamically skip a test with XUnit 2. Um, I'll just show you here that um, all my tests are running right now. I have a, I have a basic test um, and then I have a theory here and they're just really basic, just example tests. But um, the trick here is that what you can do is with a, a fact attribute, you can basically inherit off the XUnit fact attribute to create your skippable fact attribute. And then if for whatever reason you use this, uh, if whatever condition you set, like something you checked an environment variable or a registry setting or whatever you wanna check, uh, maybe if your operating system is equal to Windows, if you, if you make that check there, um, if it's true, then uh, it'll skip it'll skip your tests. So here, let's just flip over. I'm gonna leave it false for just a second. I'm gonna uh, flip back to my unit test and create, use the skippable fact. So now it's gonna run and it should run successfully because it's still set, it's hard coded to false. So it ran. Um, if we just hard code this to true, just to prove that this works, we can go back over, rerun our test. And now it's yellow and you can see that there's an additional output here. And if you check that, um, you can see it says ignored for some reason. So if we go back, look at our skippable fact, you can see that whatever reason you have here for skip then shows up on your tests and you can see why it was skipped. So I think it's helpful for CI environment, but um, I thought we could do a little bit better with theories too. Um, so it's basically the same for theories. You just use the theory attribute instead. Um, and it's the same thing. I'm just going to hard code this one straight to true. And then let's just go over here. And the only difference here is you leave your inline data alone and you just change this to a skippable theory. And then you run it there. So now theories are a little bit different. Um, I'm going to bring this one back just so you can see that tests are running uh, rather than skipping everything. So with theories, it'll, it'll look and it won't pull back anything just because it's skipping all of these theories. So it's just showing up as one test rather than three individual. So that's the only, that's the only weird thing is your test counts get a little goofy, but um, if it was running on the local develop, developer machine, they'd see the three tests just like normal. So it's a cool little uh, helper there that I hope uh, helps you guys as well. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video if it was helpful.